are some of the items that I picked up so far um, this weekend. Of course, you can't beat our beautiful rainy day today. Great, right? Don't want to do that. So, hi guys. So today I decided to film in the garage. I'm going to put my coat. It's a little chilly here in Kansas City on this ugly rainy day. So this is um, thrift shopping, yard sale, and estate sale. Again, so lucky to have found some great deals. I'm going to go through my estate sale first, and then we'll go on from there. So um, it's hard to turn the camera around, but anyways, the first thing I purchased for 50 cents was this metal record, vintage record box. It's um, it was in the basement. Um, this was a farmhouse. It was way out there. I almost turned around before I hit where I'm supposed to turn. Um, but I I felt like it could be cleaned a little bit. I may be just putting a, a wording right here. I'm not quite sure yet. But I just thought, what a neat little filing cabinet that you can use for fifty cents. Not a bad deal. The next item that I picked up there, and I'm gonna this what and they sold a lot by the box so everything that i'm showing you right now was ten dollars so not a bad deal this is saying 1926 and it is a yearbook uh it's it's old 1926 the senior class of weston high school in weston missouri and there are some really old photos in here awesome yearbook to have from this sale then the other yearbook again very old there's a type letter in here uh this is a recipe for something oh there's two here whoa okay this one says the owl western high school again uh people have signed this one it's very very fragile i'm gonna have to paste this together this one is 1923. So neat. Uh, very, like I said, not a lot of picture in here, but it's just a neat little thing to look at the pictures. Haven't really looked through this yet. Just purchased it yesterday. Um, I was on my way from school and I had saved it in my Facebook market. Wasn't sure if I was going to go to this and I kept going yes, no, yes, no. And I'm I'm glad I went. There was not a lot left, which I figure. But, uh, and surprisingly how far it was, I was surprised that they did not have much left. So um, this is another one from that Western High School. This one is 1927. Oh my God, look at the pictures on this. I even have some newspaper clipping in here. Just a really neat uh, yearbook to look at. And then there, I think this is a recipe for something. Let me see. Broom, broom corns. I know, somebody's paper or something that was due. The next item I did pick up there was this entire box of old um, patterns. Some of them even have the fabric on it. I guess she was going to do some decorative uh, kitchenware. And like I said, uh, I haven't even looked through this yet, but they're very old. Look, um, I just, I am fascinated by these old patterns. I am not like a sewer sewer. I can sew curtains and things like that, but to follow a pattern, not for the life of me. But I just thought that these were cute. They're, um, especially my little sewing room. I mean, come on, these are old patterns. So, um, I love this one, it's a baby. So, um, actually, oh, another one. How cool are these? These have been used, they're patterns that I've been used, have been used, not that I have. Like these here, they don't really have anything, the covers for them, but I can do something with that, um, I'm sure. Look at these pants, you guys, would you like a pair? <laughs> vintage, vintage. Um, so the whole box, like I said, they had it marked at Five. They sold it for two fifty, and then these books were just on top. So 
um, these books were selling for um, $3 a piece. I guess he gave me everything for 10 So what a neat little thing to get. The next item I picked up was this little um, uh, fake succulent in a glass. It's a dollar. These are like $4.99, $7.99 right now. They're a big thing. So I just grabbed it because, you know, it's a good deal. Hopefully I don't break it. Uh, the next item that I picked up, these were prices at a dollar a piece. They're the quilt or the embroidery a circle. I just think that these are cool to do a decoration. You can use this to make a little arrangement on them, whatever you want to do. So um, I thought that these were pretty cool to grab. And like I said, three, four, five, six, this would have been three already. So um, then they had this little pillow. It says hope. It was a buck. I thought that was kind of neat. We always need to hope, right? And then I have not looked this up yet. Past this little jug here. It's called Belt Brewing Restaurant and Pub, Pub in St. Joe First Brew Pub in St. Joe, Missouri. Um, it's a half a gallon jug. It has um, the address and everything on here. I have not looked this up, but I thought what a neat little piece to put on a shelf. You can take the lid off and use it as a little um, decorator. Pretty neat, I thought. Um, the next item that I did pick up, they had a lot of jewelry there. This cute necklace. It was $2, of course. Like I said, everything was 10 So I thought that was kind of neat. I love that. It's really pretty. So I picked that up. And they had um, tons of Christmas. But when I went downstairs, there was already, my coat's turning. They had a... Uh, a wall of bin and it said sold across it uh, so I guess the person just went in there and just grabbed all the Christmas that they can wishing probably that there was vintage what I saw even on the photos I was not feeling vintage but I did pick up this little bag of um, they're like little felts let me see little fabric they're kind of neat looking on one side is Santa the other side is Mrs. Claus and like angels they're very sweet and pretty snowman Woo! so um i don't even know how many there are in here but i picked it up i thought that was kind of a neat little vintage decoration so i thought that was a neat, neat deal right there and then they had this new testament testament um, it said March 6th of 1941, and it says to the members of the Army. Um, he had a couple of military items there, but when I asked him about it, he didn't know anything about it. He said uh, possibly it was uh, a, a family member, but he wasn't quite sure. So I just grabbed this. I love these little vintage Bibles or any vintage small books. You wrap a nice ribbon around it. I mean, it's just pretty on the shelf, but it's also the New Testament. So, this here was a Avon Country Christmas recipe box. It's pretty dirty. However, when I opened it, there were all these old recipes, recipes inside. Um, this really made me sad because... Um, I know that these, some of these are handwritten, and if you know me, um, after my mom passed, one of the items that I did grab was some of her recipes um, that she had handwritten, excuse me, and some of her favorite recipes. I just could not have parted with mine, so it made me sad when I saw this, but again, I don't know the family story there. Um, I just thought that that was a neat uh, um, recipe box. Um, then again, I haven't gone through it. I can't wait to look through it um, just to see what kind of recipes I will find and maybe try a one or two. So that was the $10. Um, that was my 10. I'm going to squat now. That was my $10 um, estate sale. Now I went to um, in a Facebook market. 
Facebook market this week, my great find was this. It's called the Old Kentucky Home Scale. I purchased this on Facebook market for $10. It works. I love the patina. I love the whole look about this. Um, this is not going to be a resale item. It is going to go in my own kitchen after I wash it and clean it a little bit. I don't want to take, you know, more paint off. But I just thought, what a great price for a scale. Because if you look at some of these old scale, this one, I think I saw it for over $40 online. So it all depends. Um, Facebook market and a yard sale that they were having, they just put it on there. I went and picked up these Artie Boys collection. You get 10 books and I paid $5 for the entire collection. Uh, this, woo, this is book one one through ten being that number four is a little damaged and number five the cover is a little damaged but i don't think i haven't even looked at the books yet i'm gonna pull one out they don't even look like they've been used so um what a neat find for five dollars especially when some of these books will sell for more than that so and then at that same it was on Facebook Market, but like I said, they had a yard sale. Oh, my legs. I'm getting old, you guys. Um, I picked up it was a box of Halloween. I paid $2 for this. And these are just like pumpkins that you can put a candle in them. And I guess stick them on the ground. So there was four of these in this box. Then there was this... And I have a bigger one of these. And it, I guess they were tying it up. How cool is that? A blow mold uh, pumpkin. Just that right there is worth the $2. And then there is this string of light for these little blow mold pumpkins. I don't know what, what actu actually I'm going to do with that. And this one here, it is crack, but it is a vintage ceramic ceramic <laughs> um, it looks like a what do you call it? scarecrow head but it's a pumpkin so that was pretty cool I don't want to break this one for this one boy. and then there's one two three four five six seven eight there are ten of these little there for a little light at the bottom as well so I guess you I don't know how you would hang those up but Kind of neat. I even thought maybe you can put a tea light in there. It might fit and to light this up. So there were 10 of these. I want to get rid of this box over here. And this little door hanger. It has a battery compartment. I don't know if it still works. But I thought that was kind of neat. And there is a penny in the box so that means the entire this cost me seven dollars between the hardy books and the pumpkins but it was 6.99 because i have a penny back just saying and then there was just this little halloween thing so that was a purchase on facebook market that someone was willing to um how can i say they were willing to sell some of the items from their yard sale in advance on Facebook market, which I think it's always great. You want to sell it? You want to get rid of it? Sell it. Um, I'm not sure what this, this is. Oh, this is from the Salvation Army. Uh, so a while back, I actually had bought this remnants of fabric and it's this beautiful bird uh, fabric and I had been wanting to find a oval frame and I did it was a dollar ninety nine it actually goes like this but I'm actually gonna try to make another hole to hang it sideways um, I'm gonna paint the frame and actually and that will be one of my um, DIY uh, trash is treasure projects that I will be filming pretty soon but for $1.99, and the fabric, I think I paid like 49 cents. I bought that a while back. And Salvation Army, I think she sold this 
for 50 cents. It's a uh, ceramic glaze kind of pottery, I guess. It is a, it is already uh, glazed inside. It's a apple. Um, thought that was a neat item to get. And this wooden spaghetti, um, I guess you measured your spaghetti here and then your uh, spaghetti grabber. I don't know what you call it, but that was in there too. And I do not have the price tag for all this. I apologize. So um, these I like just to put in my, um, any wooden spoons or whatever that I can get to put uh, for decoration, I will do that. I'm getting up again. I'm gonna throw this in the trash. Okay, so the next, again, would not be a week without me visiting my little treasure shop, Overlook Treasures in Leavenworth, Kansas. Um, I, oh, my other thing is, I'll have to show you what I also purchased from there um, at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Um, Again, I'm still looking for a jar that will fit that lid that I found at the uh, um, auction. And this one was $2. Um, I just, you can never have enough jars for storing. And right now, I love storing things to decorate in my jars. Then she had two of these um, they're this beautiful ivory lace, and I purchased all of it. Um, I have a little project in mind. I'm hoping that this will work for that. I did not buy that. And this, I still spent twelve dollars there. She had this cake cloak, and I got this for two dollars. What a steal, and again, I needed one of those for a project that I'm doing. So I grabbed it, and it, it, it's really a well-made, and I'm sure it probably would sell for more than just $2. But I got it for my project. I'm going to put this on the rim, I guess I don't break it. Whew, it's a lot. Um... Let's see here. Um, at Goodwill, I did pick up this little silver, uh, little silver storage trinket box. It was two ninety nine. I just thought that that was I don't know. I just liked it. I thought it was a kind a, a pretty neat piece. And at Goodwill, I also purchased this. It was still in its box. I'm actually going to do something with this. I gotta put my glasses on. It is a World Bazaar Incorporated. It's a geese, goose, and it's sitting on some eggs, but it, it is also a plater. This was $3.99 at half price, so I just went ahead and picked it up. Some greenery in there, a nice little bow on there, and there you have it. Something really neat and cute. And oh, quite a few things from uh, Goodwill this week. Um, this next item is just a little white box. They attempted to paint it, did an awful job at it. So I am just gonna go ahead and finish it. I mean, they really did not do this little box. They didn't paint it. So they just gave up on it, but I'm gonna give it life again. It was $2.99. Um, I love the way the side locks. I don't know, I just love those locks. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up, or redo it, I should say. I am obsessed with these little baskets that hang, and I will show you where I hang all of these in um, when I do my uh, Trash to Treasure. Stay tuned for that. This was $1.99. How cute is this? You can put this by the door, put your keys in it. Um, you know, um, leave little notes in here. It's just a cute, fun basket. For $1.99, I could not leave that behind. This I picked up, I just love it. Um, it's a container with a wood lid. For $1.99, I cannot beat that. I'm actually gonna paint this, and I'm going to do something with this cute little jug 
The lid is pretty strong on there. Sometimes when you buy this, the lid rubber is all falling apart. However, this one is in great shape and it was $1.99. So cannot wait to do my um, treasure thing with this. This, I just thought it was a nice primitive piece. It was $2.99 and it says, give us this day our daily bread. A nice little basket. I just gonna clean this up, maybe put some uh, wax on it to seal it. I'm not gonna change the wording or the color, but I am gonna clean it up some. I just thought that that was really a neat piece to get. Next, it was this um, cutting board. This cute cutting board. I'm actually gonna re-stain this, get the yuckies off of it, some scratches. And they actually sell, and I'm gonna show it to you when I do my DIY with this. Um, and reseal this. I'm not too much liking the blue color, but that's okay. You can never have beautiful coloring, cutting boards. You know, if you're having a party or something, or you just wanna serve somebody on this, put a bowl of soup here, sandwich, a little bit of um, whatever you wanna put on here, a bowl of fruit, and you can just serve this to your guests. I think this, these are wonderful, or you can Decorate it, put a little wreath here, and just put something good, good food or a farm, whatever you wanna put. I think these are really cool. Um, if you find these, buy them, they're rare. Um, it was $1.99, so not a bad deal at all. Um, one more. This is something <laughs> Some of you are gonna be like, how many rolling pins can one have? For some reason, there are certain things like the scales, and this week has been cutting boards. I've been finding them almost every week. I'm just finding some great things. And this rolling pin was a $1.99. I think they look cute when you have a crock or you just wanna put them in your mixing bowl, put it on the counter. You can actually hang, well, you can hang this one, but, um, to, you can hang these with two wires on each side and this could be a towel holder if you want to. There are so many things that you can do with rolling pins. So when I see these, I buy them. Two more items. This, you cannot tell on camera. It is absolutely beautiful. I thought about just touching it a little bit with some white paint. Don't know if I want to. It was $2.99, but it is cast iron. It is really heavy. Um, just need some cleaning up. Sometimes just clean up and you reuse your stuff. But it has a nice place to put a hook in the back. So I went ahead and got that for $2.99. Now, this last item I was super excited about. I'm outside, guys, and my nose is starting to get a little runny. Um, I have looked on for these for a while now. This one is quite dirty. I put it back but it is a bread box. These are going for pretty good money right now. My decision is, do I paint it? Do I leave it like this? What I'm gonna try to do first is cleaning up, but I know that the word bread might be coming off. I hope not. Inside looks great, in great shape. Um, I actually love the knob and everything, but I'm gonna try to clean this up and then I will decide what I'm gonna do. I love the two metal uh, parts right here. Just need some cleaning up and some good loving. It was $5.99, but I've seen them for $89, $100. Bread box are the thing right now. So I'm glad that I picked it up. Um, I did have my phone with me to look these up and I was quite pleased when I actually picked it up. So, or I would have been kicking myself. So love, love, love it. So, so far that is my haul. Um, I have a few more things in my car that I do need to get out because I, I am filming in the garage today because I have all these projects going on inside and as you can tell I'm getting ready to pick up another item from a Facebook market I have a meeting at pick up at 10 o'clock but first I gotta show you my cool boots that I got look at my boots they're chicken on them I paid $24 for them at the tractor, at the tractor place or whatever it's called. So I am so excited and I'm 
was kind of wanting rain. Now I'm like not so sure, but I just had to show you my boots. There's no place I go. Let's keep watching my videos. So what is a girl to do when it is raining outside? So I decided I had filmed part of my haul this week at thrift shopping, uh, estate sale, yard sale, and it's raining, of course. Oh, so frustrating. It seems, but April flowers may bring May flowers, and April showers bring May flowers, I guess. So I decided, okay, you know what? Just go check out what you can find in. Um, after this weekend, I'm, I'm actually going to have to start doing my uh, trash to treasure videos and of course my craft videos. Um, I've been doing some without filming, I'm just catching up on some of the things that I wanted to do in the past and putting things together. I'm going to do a uh, video on that here pretty soon. I apologize to those of you that like to watch my channel and love it when I do crafts. However, I have this big project coming up and so I really want to be able to finish this project and then concentrate on more of the other things that I love to do too. Um, as I said before, this channel is you never know what you're going to get on top of everything else because I do so many projects and so many things and then my husband and I did some projects in our home so <clears throat> I just I've been kind of playing catch up I'm gonna lose my voice <clears throat> so I did a huge haul at uh, Goodwill and Salvation Army they had um, a bunch of things on sale today well the blue tags but there was a lot of them which I was surprised and then I went ahead and did a, a Facebook market pickup it was a, um, a dining room table um, <clears throat> it needs a little TLC, but it's a really nice thick table, which I need that for a project. So I just decided, and it was $10. So who can beat a dining room table for $10? It doesn't have the chairs. It is missing the bolts to tie the, uh, what you call it, the, the legs to the table, but that is not a, be a deal breaker for me actually. So I'm excited about getting this done. And so let me show you what I got. So I got to show you what I got. I'm going to turn this camera around. My trunk is full of treasures today. Um, that's the table. Look how thick this table is. It's a very sturdy table. I cannot wait to put this together again and see. See, it's missing the little note, the bolt. And then let me show you what I got. Started with the Salvation Army um, haul first. Wish I had a little bench. One second. I'm getting smarter. Okay, I'm gonna sit right here and I'm gonna be able to speak louder and then show you what I got. The first thing I picked up was this magazine rack. <clears throat> it was $4.99, but I think it has good bones to it. I just think it's it's neat. Uh, more more and more people are getting these again because they're like a little antique, a little treasure. Put your magazine, and they're very sturdy. So I did get that. Um, I could not leave this little box behind. It's kind of neat looking. It's very nice inside. Um, it's more like a guy's. Um, I thought it was snowing, but it's all the petals from the tree. For a second, I was like, wait a second. Um, it's a little rough. It needs a little TLC, but I'm actually not going to paint this. I'm actually going to varnish it a little bit and add another coat of the, um, what do you call that, varnish on it and just make it look really nice. Just clean it up. And this was uh, $2.99, so not a bad deal right there. All of the picture frames mirrors and all that are on sale trust me i did not buy it. this was a old home interiors i don't know if you all, all remember that but that was back in the day that was that was what people bought to decorate their homes a lot of wives did um i'm actually going to not use the picture i wanted the oval frame for a project i'm hoping this will work i didn't measure but then again um it was 3.99 half price for two dollars 
I'm not going to complain if I don't use it. I'll do something else with it. So, um, the next item, it was this little, um, it says Goodwood. Um, I hope to find a, a cloche for this at one point. It was $1.99. So, um, it's just a piece of wood. And I, I, I'm hoping to find a, a cloche for it. So, um, this little thing, she gave it to me for 99 cents. It's a little wobbly. I'm hoping to be able to either knock these back in there, which I just did. And I think it's going to need some glue or maybe take it out and redo it, but it's a little male. Um, Green Onion Vintage. You've got to go watch her videos. Um, I'm doing a shout out to her today. She does a lot of these things as well. She has the same, um, she likes to redo items. She has a little um, uh, antique boot at stores and stuff like that. Um, so um, she did something cute with this. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try. I, I just think that this is cute and I might just do what she did to hers. Uh, Green Onion Vintage. Go check her out, her name is Nicole. She does a lot of trash to treasure and um, is a right now I think she's like 38 weeks pregnant a really good person to watch uh, very interesting and if you like Dixie Bell paints she actually has an Etsy shop that she sells on on that um, I'm actually going to tell her um, write her a message today and subscribe to her channel um, but if you can check her out you might want to subscribe to her channel she's got great ideas the next item that I pick up uh, this is, says Napa Home and Garden. It's a heavy, it looks like a cabbage. So I thought, what a perfect bowl for uh, summertime. Put a little candle in here. I just thought that this was cute. Um, they were $3.99 and a half off today. I actually got two of the same bowls. I just thought that they were neat. I didn't look, I'm gonna try to link after when I am editing how much these are actually. And then you can see from there what 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 is what. Um, this one, she gave them to me for $2.99. They're uh, metal sconces. Um, I just, I, 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 I um, two metal sconces. Uh, for $2.99, that is not a bad deal. Um, I thought that these were neat, if you can see them. They're not as heavy, but they're a nice metal. I know that uh, these are probably, um, at a store for much more than that. So what a great deal this, this was today. This was 50 cents. It's a vintage log cabin a syrup container. Um, does it have a date on it? Usually 1987. So I just thought that was kind of neat. Little log cabin. And then the other two items that I picked up which just fell apart on me are the two uh, wooden candle holders. They're from Pier Import. Uh, they were 99 cents at half price. Um, they were marked $6, so I got these for $1, uh, $1, and together I would have paid 12 for the pair. So what a steal of a deal this is. And then, I don't know, this was only 50 cents. So I went ahead and picked it up. I'm thinking that maybe I can do something in the front here. Um, kind of just a piece of wood with a rope. But I thought for 50 cents, why not? The next item might not be like super interesting, but um, um, I couldn't even read the names on these. It, this one says weather something of a bob. Weather. Weather Spirit, I did not look how much these uh, usually sell for. Um, this is a size two, and I'm hoping that my grandson will be able to fit in these. If not, I paid 99 cents, guys. I will just donate it again. But I just thought, not too bad. Um, like I said, I'll try to link everything that I see below. These are brand new, never worn, and they are Skechers. They're Skechers Go Walk. Brand new. I don't care if they're guys or girls, but I am going to try them on. And if they fit me, I will wear them. Look, brand new. Um, nobody. So for 99 cents, 
not a bad deal at all. The next item is these flip flops. Again, spanking brand new Route 66. The reason I ask why you're selling all these so cheap today, these are summer. They said that they got an abundance of shoes and so they need to get rid of them and the best way to do it is go 99 cents. People were flocking to those cards, let me tell you. So, um, not a bad, again, 99 cents. These are Nike shoes, again, for my grandson when they go fishing. I don't mind, even though if they're Nikes, that he can actually, I didn't even look at the size. Another pair of shoes, if they don't fit him, I am sure they will fit someone, and I cannot see the size on these. They're, they're a little bit worn, but not too worn. I mean, you can still see, ooh, here we go. Tag is in this one, of course. They're a size nine. I'm pretty sure this is gonna fit my grandson. But for a pair of Nikes, yeah, to go fishing, that is. And these are brand new boots. <clears throat> um, I don't know if there's a brain in here. Uh, they're saying Nayla. Um, what size? I don't even know what size they are. They're saying a size nine, they were $20. Um, they had marked them at $20 because they were brand new, but I guess they didn't sell. Um, and at Salvation Army, I spent $29.42. Yes, I spent a little bit more than I usually do, but I think what I bought, um, I, pretty good. But like I said, these are smacking brand new boots. They're kind of neat looking. So. I'm gonna go get my other bags. I'm sorry, I keep getting this froggy in my throat and I will show you the other stuff. The tabletop. In great shape. Look how thick this wood is. And these are the legs. They need some TLC, but that's expected when you have a table. Has a little chip here, but you don't see that. So I cannot wait to get my hands on this and start working on this table. Okay, so this, <laughs> sorry guys. Um, I'm filming with my camera. I'm trying something new so I can move around a little bit more. Um, just for right now, I'm doing that. Um, Goodwill. Pick this up. It's a turn, uh, a cake or a Reezy Susan for $2.99. It just needs a, maybe a little tightening, but I think it's still okay. Maybe I can find a clutch for it. If not, just like this, I think it's fine too. So, got that. I thought this was a cool little shelf. Um, it hangs like this. It has two hangers in the back. And this was also, like I said, they're stuck on $2.99. This was $2.99. Um, another $2.99 item. They only had one. I wish they would have had two of these. It's a metal candle holder, but it, it's it looks so friend, uh, farmhouse, even though farmhouse is more modern, I guess, farmhouse. But I just thought that was cute. Put a little um, flower ring right here and a candle. Um, I think this is pretty neat. I'm gonna get this bag. They had a, um, of course now I can't remember what this is called. Um, they had this, it was a dollar. Um, a cribbage board, there we go. So I just went ahead and picked this up. I thought it was neat for a dollar. It's a nice one. And I could not leave this one behind. I thought it was neat. It was $2.99 and it is a quilt purse. There's, um, I think somebody might have made this. There's no name on it, but I just thought, what a cool little purse. It has some cool little buttons on it. And it's a nice quilt, quilted uh, bag. You know, fast errands, sometimes I like to go in a store and just like a, if I know I'm not picking up big items, what a cool little bag for a yard sale or whatever. <clears throat> so I went ahead and got that, picked it up today. Um, I picked up another, um, <clears throat> oh my gosh, sorry guys, magazine rack. This one was only $3.99. There's a middle part to this, it's a little loose, but if I can screw these back in I think I'll be okay it has little felt at the bottom I'm just not sure if I'm gonna paint this or if I'm gonna leave it as is I just think um, I wanted a couple of those for some reason I don't know 
The next item I picked up was $1.99. What a cool little umbrella. I need it today, not that it would keep me. But uh, I just thought the design on this, hanging upside down, is pretty cool. I have a couple of these. But for $1.99, I decided to bring it home. So how sweet is that? No, it will not be bad luck because it's raining and I'm sitting in the garage. So it's okay to open this umbrella. Um, the next item I picked up is pretty heavy and it was, the reason why I picked it up one is because it was a blue tag, which is half off and it was $3.99. So a uh, dollar 98 and it's, I thought the designs on it are pretty nice. It's a, it's a pretty hefty piece. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it in the color it is. I might, I don't know, but I just thought what a cool, um, wine bottle rack to set on the table for a nice dinner when you have guests. This one was, um, to me it looks like a gardening box. I'm actually going to add clay um, pots in here. And it was $2.99. Not a bad deal. Once again, I don't have to do too much to this and just make it all pretties. Um, next I picked up some dishes. Um, I actually looked this up, it's got, it was $2.99 and I believe it was over $30. I'm gonna put it below, don't quote me on that. It is called Country Flowers by Andrea. I know some people collect some of these smaller dish like this. Um, I didn't even look inside to see, I don't think it's, it was chipped anywhere. That's one thing I forget to look sometimes is to make sure that items are not chipped. But sometimes people look for, this is, looks to me like not a piece that would go with a that would, would come with the dishes or whatever, but um, a cute little piece, like especially during springtime. Oh yeah, it's not broken. It's nice. Watch, now I'm gonna break it somehow. But for $2.99, again, that $2.99 has beautiful flowers on it. Beautiful for a nice little spring uh, table setting. Awesome deal, awesome deal. <clears throat> I don't wanna break stuff. She did pack everything good, but um then i know what these are there were two of these i wasn't quite sure what they are but they're a neat glass bottle um i just thought that was super neat i thought maybe just wrapping a cord around here and putting um a flower in it for a dollar 19 i said yes and there's actually two of these so i could do it as a pair super neat super fun to, to, to find that today the next item is this and another one of these uh, little flower. This one is from, hold on a second, Mount Clemens Pottery, yours from the Good Earth. Um, actually, this one was also selling up there and it was $3.99. Uh, but I just thought, how cute is this? on a nice spring uh, setting. It doesn't have to be Easter, but summertime or whatever. You just put a nice little um, casserole in here. Super cute, super fun. I got that one too. Then another pottery that they had today is this pottery. And it's actually yesteryears and it's in turned in made in the, US, in the USA in Marshall, Texas. I just love the sponge. Um, what a nice little planter pot to put some flowers in. I love the green color. I think it's, it's super cute. So why not get that? This item, I, I know it's a magnifying glass. I don't know anything about it. It has a weight to it here. Okay, let me, let me, let me do this. So it screws up here and it does have a weight to the bottom. I, I'm thinking it might be for a, a jewelry repair guy. I don't know. But it does have a tag underneath that says Made in India. It was $2.99. Um, just a neat little conversation piece. And sometimes I need a magnifying glass to look at pennies or whatever. So I, I got it. Don't ask me. I don't know. I just got it. And then they had another one of these which... I had to look around on that cart and I saw it. It's a measuring tape and it was uh, 99 cents. Um, one of those vintage ones, kind of cool. So I got that one. 
and another bag here. Oh, this is this is neat as well. And I bet you the price is two ninety nine because, like I said, they're stuck. Yeah. Oh, one ninety nine. You can either hang this on the wall or just put it on a table. But I love the saying that says, "A garden of friend is always in bloom." Um, I love the vintage patina look on this. So you know, just to put on a shelf or hang it on the wall. How simple and cute is that? Hopefully, I do not break any of these breakables. Oh, and last but not least, I paid a little bit more for this than what I wanted. Now, don't forget, I did get that table today for $10 as well, but I cannot put it together until my hubby comes home. So I don't want to scratch the inside of my car. And I'm just going to leave it there for now, which I would love that drop off though. This is a Starbucks coffee or teapot. I didn't even know that Starbucks had this kind of stuff. Um, it is not cheap or anything. It was $4.99. Uh, this is a keeper. I'm going to put this in my cabinet. Um, my son loves tea. And sometimes I just think it's nice to bring a little coffee pot on the table in the morning for breakfast. So I went ahead and picked that up. So another weekend of finding treasures in thrift shops, estate sale or yard sales. Um, I cannot wait to do my trash to treasure episode. I think you guys are gonna really gonna enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and let me know what you're finding at thrift shop. With this channel, you are never, you never know what you're gonna get, but I do bring things home with love. I bring things with, I bring things home, I bring it with love, and I bring it to life. Home love life so thank you so much for watching please make sure that you subscribe to my channel for another episode next week of trash findings or i might just do treasure trash is treasure you never know so come back and see me thanks a lot for watching have a great day and stay warm because it's not warm here in kansas